Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use my favorite lightweight video editing software to run on a MacBook Pro. All right, let's get started. Click the link in the description box below to visit the website video-editor-software.com. Click through and select download for free. Once downloaded, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. All right, here's the software. To get started, click create project in full feature mode. Then you can either import your video or click the record option to record directly from your computer webcam. Click add media files and select the video file or files you want to edit. Once you import the video, you can preview it on the right side. The imported video will appear in the timeline below. So you can perform simple edits in the video with the horizontal bar above the timeline. These include split, rotate, crop, color adjustments, transition wizard, and record voiceover. Okay, you can split and trim the video into different parts by selecting a point on the timeline and clicking the scissor button. Then choose the part of the clip you don't want and press delete. Okay, and to rotate, just click the rotate button to choose the orientation you prefer. You can also use the crop feature by clicking the crop button. Use the guide box in the preview window to show or hide parts of the video. And you can also move the scroll bar left and right to change the angle. Now, if you need to adjust the colors, just click this button and you have different auto adjustments that you can use. There's auto saturation, auto contrast, magic enhance, and auto white balance. There are also manual adjustments available as well for the more advanced users. So here you can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation, highlights, gamma, shadows, hue, temperature, and tint. In the clip properties section, you can increase the video speed. Decrease the video speed, or reverse the action. Now over here on the left vertical menu is the import button and then the filters, transitions, titles, pan and zoom, stickers, callouts, animation, highlight and conceal, chroma key, and stabilization. So this may seem like a lot for right now, but they're all real easy to use. Click the import button and you'll see that aside from adding a video file to your project, you also have the option to add sounds, music, sample video, and backgrounds. To add sounds, click one and once it's downloaded, just drag it to the timeline. And you can even adjust the volume like so. You can add as many as you want to give more life to your video. And you can do the same for the background music. For sample video and backgrounds, simply select one and drag to the video timeline. You can use both options for intros, endings, and even transitions. You know what I love doing? Click on the filters button to apply a filter to your video. There are dozens of filters to choose from. You can select a category here and then choose a specific filter you want to use, and then drag it to the video clip like so. And if you're not satisfied with the filter you chose, just click the undo button here and then go ahead and select another filter that you want to use. You have both the undo and redo buttons, so don't be afraid to make mistakes. With the transitions option, you can choose the desired transitions to artfully switch from one scene to the next. Simply select the button, select a category, and then choose a transition you like and drag it between the clips. Let's choose this one and apply to your project by dragging like so. Once you play your video, you'll see there's now a smooth transition between the two clips rather than a sudden cut. To modify the transition, just double click it, make changes and click OK. Here's another example of a good transition. Okay, give your video a title or a credit screen with ease by clicking the titles button. Just like before, choose a category and a title that you want and drag it to the timeline. Double click the text selection to type in your text. To pan and zoom, click the button and decide whether you wish to zoom in, zoom out, or pan left to right. Okay, so when we're done, click add. The stabilization feature is best used for video clips that have camera shakes. 
To use it, simply click this button, select a clip, and click the Stabilize button. As you can see, everything is done for you by the software. These are just a few simple, easy to use features. There are so many more you'll discover once you start using the software. Okay, let's get this thing out of here. To export your video, click the Export button on the bottom right. Over here, you can choose the format that you want from the drop down menu. Or you can choose a format for TV, Apple device, Android device, and others. You can upload it directly to YouTube by signing into your account. Also, select the quality. The higher you go, the larger the file size. When ready, click Start. Remember, you'll be able to create a trial copy, but to export a full version, you'll need to purchase and register the software. So that's it. If you want to edit video the easy way, try my favorite video editing software. You can download it by clicking the link in the description box below to visit video-editor-software.com and create your own custom video in minutes. Wait a second, and before you go, please don't forget to like this video. Leave your comments or any questions below, and to subscribe to my channel for more video editing tutorials. Good luck!